you know the standard stereotype where you get on a phone to order some Chinese food and uh, you start speaking in this like Chinese food ordering voice <laughs> as if people could understand you better if you speak your version of that weird you know destruction of whatever normal tone you would use coupled with some stereotypic Chinese accent like they're gonna get that isn't that more confusing why is this person speaking such shitty English I can't understand it I'm used to hearing good English <laughs> you know it's I have a good friend who does that it's the same with speaking in some kind of corporate speak or not getting used to the way you talk. When you go out on a date, it's your first date and you're trying to impress somebody, what are you trying to do? You're trying to show them the best side of you so that maybe you can get laid? Okay. Or are you looking for something more meaningful? And if so, why wouldn't you show them your real you? Who are you trying to impress? What, are you trying to convince people that they should work with you? That they should sleep with you? That they should like you? As if ordering Chinese food with a Chinese food ordering voice is going to make it more clear? <laughs> Speak your language. Say it the way you mean it. Use clear, concise choices that you want. When people know that they're getting you, if they choose you, they will not be surprised later on. If you put on some kind of other falsified version of yourself because you're coming at it with some agenda and then they choose you when they see the real you they'll be surprised and they'll be slightly put off because they've been duped <laughs> have some construction being done here so the idea is to not dupe people. <laughs> the idea, like the construction is saying, is to build up, build up with good foundation. Build up with solid practices. Gradually find your own Make a good foundation. Do it right. Go into your truth. I guess the last thing I'll say to you is this. I used to go on dates. And I would take dates to this dive bar. It's my favorite bar in my town. It's a shitty, dark unpretentious dive bar had a great jukebox sam the bartender there he was the owner he didn't take shit from anybody and he wouldn't let people curse in there except he let me curse because i sat at the bar i would ask the old cronies about themselves i asked sam about himself i was the youngest regular in that bar and i wasn't busy getting you know drunk plastered daily I just liked the atmosphere and I liked Sam and I liked the people so I took people to this dive bar that was my date that was my test if they didn't like that dive bar 
they didn't get a second date. They had to like what I was giving them. That was my qualification. That was my pre-qualifying qualification. That was how I could open with a nice, this is what I like. If you don't like it, <laughs> great. I set you free.